Hello everyone, my name is Holden Hardman. Thank you so much for joining me again for another video. Today I'm taking it back to some old school style content I used to make. So I used to do these videos well before my girlfriend watches, well before my friend watches. They were always really fun to make and from what I understand, there have been similar style videos made since then. So I just wanted to clear the record, say that I've, been ma I've made videos like this years and years ago. The reason I wanted to come back and do Chuck Eat Cheese was because I've recently started taking my future stepkids, our little family, to Chuck E. Cheese from time to time now. If you don't know what Chuck E. Cheese is, it was like this this little kids area. They had like arcade games. I think there used to be like a ball pit. There used to be these animatronic rodents. <laughs> uh, Chuck E. Cheese, the rat guy playing the thing, and you'd have somebody playing the piano, and um, there used to be these little animatronics, and they all, never worked right. So for the longest time, that's been my recollection of Chuck E. Cheese. I know that they did some rebranding uh, not even that long ago. So I remember seeing like a commercial and they totally got rid of like the classic Chuck E. Cheese look and went with this little animated mouse. Not that mouse, but you know, new mouse. And so my perception of Chuck E. Cheese has always been dirty, like run down, things don't work right, nobody cares about their job. So the first time I took the kids and Jen to Chuck E. Cheese, it was like this fluke thing, like really, we wanna to go to Chuck E. Cheese? Okay, I guess. So we go there and it's totally different. Some of the machines weren't working, but we've been like a few times. There's like, you can see like people actively working on making sure that the machines are working properly because some of these kids are just like the most abusive creatures I've ever seen in my life. I mean, just absolutely destroying some of the, these machines. It's gotta be frustrating working maintenance at any children's place. But you know, since we've gone back, you know, they're like, they're, those will work, then another one will work, and sometimes they're all working, but it's like this constant cycle of kids breaking them and then needing to be fixed. For the most part though, like it was way cleaner than I remember. It's not like clean, clean though. You obviously have kids like wiping their hands with their on their noses and touching everything. So it's this germ nightmare. It's not like disgusting, I guess. I know that's, it is, I mean, it's Chuck E. Cheese, it is what it is. When we went on the weekend, there were kids having parties and stuff and they were like really decked out with like Chuck E. Cheese stuff. Somebody came out in like the mascot outfit. It's like the new Chuck E. Cheese, but still came out there and he was like, all energetic and dancing with the kids and stuff. And I'm like, oh, I don't have the energy for that type of job. But Chuck E. Cheese came out and interacted with the kids, took pictures and uh, it was fun, man. We had a we had a really fun time. We got pizza and some other stuff there at the time and it was okay. You know, it's, <laughs> it's Chuck E. Cheese pizza. I'm not expecting like anything great. Overpriced, way overpriced, but it's whatever. But one of the things I've learned is that you cannot please everyone. When I go to a place like Chuck E. Cheese, I'm not expecting this like, fine dining experience and the children are like catered to their every whim. Like it's kind of a free for all. Kids go and they play their arcade games. You're gonna expect the food to be overpriced. That's, at least for me, that's what I was expecting. So the fact that it wasn't like as run down or as filthy as I remembered it being, I'm like, this place is great. So this Chuck E. Cheese is in my town. It's 7350 Plantation Road in Pensacola, Florida. And I wanted to look at some of the one star reviews. Sometimes businesses deserve one star reviews. Usually in situations with one stars, you'll see some tendencies. They'll say, you know, staff was rude, staff was rude. The, the people are always rude. So then you're like, okay, well, it's probably a problem with some rudeness. But then you get like unreasonable people that are like, the temperature was too cold. I asked them to change it and they only changed it by one degree. This is unacceptable. Like those types of people. Oh, I forgot. They've done away with like the ticket system, like the tickets coming out. And that was kind of a bummer for me because I remember that being like, oh my gosh, I got a high score. I get 12 tickets or whatever. So now you go in there and you can pay by points or pay by time. So you'll get like a little card and you'll put, you know, how, however many coins you want. So I want a hundred coins for the day. So it'll put a hundred coins on the card and you, you know, for each machine that's like cost one token or two tokens, it takes two points or one point out of your card. We do it by time. So it's unlimited play on, on, on all the games for 30 minutes or an hour or an hour and a half or whatever. So that's usually what we do. So it might say, you know, you, you, you earn 12 tickets. So the 12 tickets will go on your card and they have like a little kiosk. You can check to see how much time you have left and how many tickets are there. You can pause your time. Like if you're going to go get people Pizza, you can pause the card, eat, and then unfreeze it again to keep playing. So it's not bad and it's it's pretty fun. I'm getting into the games, obviously, because I'm a grown man child. So I'm playing with the kids and stuff. We're having a good time. It's Chuck E. Cheese, man. I mean, it's, it's better than I thought it was gonna be. So let's take a look and see what other people have to say. This one was a month ago. Pictures are outdated. There is no show whatsoever now. We went there and Chuck E. Cheese wasn't there and was out of town, so they didn't know when to expect him back. This location is definitely the worst Chuck E. Cheese I've been to, only an arcade now. Remember when I said they had sort of like an animatronic show 
show that never worked and nobody watched anyways, they got rid of that. They have instead exchanged it for like, they have like these screens around and they have like these pre-recorded, high, much higher quality little dances and songs that the kids can dance to. They have like, like an actual dance floor there now too. So the guy's like, they don't have the high quality animatronic show that I've come to, it won, it, it won a Grammy. Like what, who cares? As if the kids who didn't even grow up in that generation have no like context for what they're missing. Are like, oh, Chuck E. Cheese is ruined. All we have are unlimited games to play. And then the owner responds, you know, we appreciate the review. We're all about delivering a fantastic experience. So they're like actively, you know, responding. And like, if we can make anything better, you know, please reach out. No one's reaching out, Chuck. Sorry. This place was horrible. Right when you walk in the front door, the smell of mildew smacks you in the face. You wanted the classic Chuck E. Cheese experience, I guess you're getting it. Then the manager guy looks mad, even with the corona mask on. The pizza wasn't bad, was good as, as actually. No other comments about the manager other than he just looked mad, okay. I was disappointed that half the games were working and they didn't have a ball pit, tubes, or any of the free stuff to play on. So generally speaking, ball pits have kind of gone away. There used to be rumors, you may have actually heard some of these, of some kid that got into a ball pit and a snake or a viper bit him and killed a child. Actually not true, it's an urban myth. So they've kind of faded out, not just at Chuck E. Cheese, but like anywhere. At least, at least here, there used to be a little ball pit play area for kids at McDonald's or wherever, and they've all gone away. But I understand that it would be nice to go to a place like Chuck E. Cheese and have free stuff for the kids to play in, giant tubes or whatever, uh, but there aren't any of that. It's not Discovery Zone. I spent $30 for pizza, three drinks, and one hour play for my three-year-old's birthday. She won 1,300 tickets and got a bunch of cheap party favor type toys. Yeah, the toys are all crap. They, they've always been crap. The idea that you could go to Chuck E. Cheese and actually come out on top by like getting a nice toy is ridiculous. There's a couple games that I, I would play where I knew I could get 100 tickets every couple of minutes. I'm trying to do the math of how much I spent for the time I was playing, or if I were to do it straight up just coins, I could have bought the toy like five to 10 times over for it to have been worth anything. So if you're going to Chuck E. Cheese and you wanted the classic Chuck E. Cheese experience, that's about right. They're giving you crap toys, but the kids don't usually care. They don't know what's worth something, what's not. They get a little kazoo or whatever, and they're like meh, meh, freaking out all day. There's no animated Chuck E. in this crew dancing robot show like back in the day. Nobody cares, kids don't care. The best part was honestly the women's restroom. That's a good thing. It tells you that their kitchen should be clean. There was no bad mildew smell and was clean. I wouldn't recommend coming here. The owner responds, uh, Kyle Broski, not a single punctuation mark in sight. I'm just gonna go out now. I'll see you if you wanna find a car for a car or something, I'll let you do that. It was a nice day. I just got home, I'll see you either bit. I'm a nice little cold. I'm not sure I'm moving my car. I'll be home for about an hour. I'll let y'all do a little more tomorrow night. Night, I'll be home with the image of a woman, looks like a teacher holding up a meme that says, hey bro, nice dick. I'm gonna guess that this is a troll account. Poor Chuck, can't catch a break, even getting fake one star reviews. It's just not Chuck E. Cheese. There are no Chuck or crew anymore. The setup for the dance thing is backwards. You can't see the dances from the dance floor. It was so hot. I almost passed out. The games only worked half the time. Not much of a selection on games, just not what Chuck E. Cheese is supposed to be. I hate to break it to you, but this is how Chuck E. Cheese has always been. We go twice a year for birthday celebrations. We are easy. We just want to play. This year was a disaster. Unorganized chaos. Didn't get my money's worth. The owners responded, Megan, thank you for sharing this with us. We apologize. Please click here to give us more details so we can share with our corporate offer office. They will work with the Pensacola team and make things right. They sent this link, in which case she edited her initial response and said, nice response, but the link isn't active. Let me see if it's active or not. It is active. It worked. It brought it up right, right away for me. I'm guessing on her mobile phone, 100% guarantee that's what she was doing. It wasn't a hyperlink because I actually had to copy and paste it and I know she didn't go through that trouble. But the link did work right to their Chuck E. Cheese contact us page. Carol, oh, you know, this is gonna be a good one. Absolutely ridiculous. My favorite opening to any review. Those two words. Took my friend's granddaughter while she was at physical therapy. When she met me there, she wasn't allowed in because Chuck E. Cheese employees couldn't find their thermometer. Waited over 45 minutes while someone went to buy a new one. <laughs> Ridiculous. I can just imagine Carol and her friend's granddaughter just waiting for 45 minutes outside Chuck E. Cheese. I'm being a little mean. Obviously, like, it's gotta suck you're trying to get into a place. COVID regulations, I know people aren't happy about a lot of that. I know doing the bare minimum must suck for some people. It does sound annoying. Uh, it, it must. <laughs> to be like, I can't find it, I gotta go. There may be more to this story, though. 
Carol. Perhaps there's more. Maybe you were just insufferable and they were hoping if they pretended the thermometer was missing, you would have left after 45 minutes. I don't know, I wasn't there. How is Chuck E. Cheese though? Like, did your friend's granddaughter have fun? Like, what was that like? Was that good? Debbie Lee, Debbie's another one. Very miserable to have a party. The hostess wasn't attentive at all. We never got all of our food that was promised and we had to ask over and over for everything. Party tables too close together to get in and out of without bumping people at their other tables. Just not worth the money or time. So loud that you could not hear yourself think, never again. It must suck when you're around all of these kids in chaos to have to ask and be, remind the people uh, you know, that you paid for this party and you want your stuff brought. I get that, that's gotta be frustrating. Party tables being too close together. Don't know if that warrants like downgrading, but whatever. So loud you could not hear yourself think. You're at a Chuck E. Cheese. And if you're having a party, you're likely there on the weekend when they're at their busiest. I don't know what you want them to do about that. And of course the owner responds being like, send us some details and we'll try to make it better. The reason I'm giving this Chuck E. Cheese a zero star, it's actually one star, you can't go below one, because my kids are literally crying about the animatronics being took out. <laughs> Gary, my guy. About the animatronics being took out, I hope this does not become on every store, and every store, I hope this does not become an every store because they think that nobody looks at the animatronics, that the animatronics are the main show. The animatronics suck, they've always sucked. I'm sorry your kids were crying about that. Did they play any games? Then you have this guy writing his review like he's a freaking international spy. Entered Pensacola, Florida. Location at 7.45 last night. Place was understaffed and a madhouse. Front door was not managed. Multiple groups left with kids without being checked out. We had a large group and we're told the large tables were for reservations only. Then saw the employees flip the chairs over for the night. <laughs> In other words, they didn't wash but to wait to clean the section. They didn't want to clean it, got it. We asked if we could make a reservation for 8 p.m. to use the large tables and we're told no. Yeah, so they wanted to come in, use one of the tables, reservation only, we're told no. If you're told no and you're a different type of man child than I am, you have a fit and you go online and you do a one star. We chose to leave complaining to the manager. He cared not at all about the situation. Can't say I would care much more either. We went today because my daughter had been asking to go. We had no idea there was a special going on. With any purchase, get a free hour of play, whoa. We bought 40 dollars worth of food, drinks, and games, and no one said anything. We learned about the special from a customer when we were about to leave. I asked the cashier about it, and he said we could make another purchase and get the hour, but it's only good for today. I get that. That's gotta suck. They got a special going on. You bought some food or whatever. No one mentioned it. That's frustrating. I totally get that. Um, okay. That is not okay. Won't be coming back. Thanks a lot, Chuck E. Cheese. I love the little sarcastic remark there at the end. That's a five point. Love that. But did your kids enjoy it? Did you have fun? How was the food? How was the actual experience? I could see you getting docked a star or something for that, but to be like, I cannot believe I spent $40 on food. Had a great time with my children. And upon leaving, they, they wouldn't let me honor the, the special. I'm never coming back, ever, ever, Chuck E. Cheese. Whoever said the pizza was good obviously works there. <laughs> this place blows, don't waste the money, go to, go to Fast Eddie's. Honestly, you're better off going to Walmart and buying a water hose and a sprayer and stay at home. The pizza's fine, but it is overpriced in my opinion. So the second time I took the kids to Chuck E. Cheese, we went to Chuck E. Cheese and then we went to like Little Caesars. I got a $5 large, you know, that they could eat. Ain't nothing wrong with the bargain. <laughs> like I was like, everything is horrible about this place because the pizza wasn't good. I was expecting top tier mozzarella provolone blend with the finest quality tomato sauce. The guy who's working in the kitchen failed his ACT. What are you doing? Sometimes short and sweet is the best, which is what this person gave us. Disgusting staff. They even warranted a response from the owner who's like, we're always looking to improve. How can we make our staff less disgusting? When I was there, the staff was fine. Honestly, I was surprised that whoever was in the mouse costume was like as active and as interactive as they were. The few times that I've been since then, because I know I've worked jobs like that, I just don't have, I cannot stay at that Disney Channel energy level that long. I can do it in short bursts, but five hours in this overheated, stinking rat costume, dealing with kids that are slobbering and spitting and touching everything. The staff is fine. It's not the staff that's disgusting. This one was a few years ago. I was told to throw away my Starbucks beverage. Yeah, a lot of these places, this is not uncommon. Movie theaters are like this. They don't want you to bring in drinks, so you have to buy theirs. I asked to speak to a manager, Ronald, who refused to come over. I asked several times to no avail. I love when people start using that type of language when they write reviews. To no avail, I have called upon manager Ronald. I've been taking Starbucks into hundreds of businesses and restaurants for years and I've never been asked to throw it away. I guess Chuck E. Cheese isn't any of those businesses and they have different rules. Rules that you and I may agree kind of suck, but 
that's how it goes. Ronald, who failed me that day upon wanting to bring my Starbucks beverage. Being there in person, you get some really wild people that go to Chuck E. Cheese. There's this game that four people can play and it's like this spear fishing game. You're like trying to catch fish. If you catch 20 pounds of fish, it equates to like a ticket. So the four of you can play and try and catch fish. And on occasion, there'll be like this special jellyfish you can catch and it's worth like 100 tickets or 150 tickets. I kid you not, the second or third time we went back, cause that's a fun game that we play, the four of us together. There was a lady there that set up like a chair and like drinks, like she was at the freaking Wind Creek Casino. And I looked on her section to see how many times she had swiped her card and it was like 700 coins. So she was sitting there treating this like this was actual money. This lady was like in her mid 60s taking this one section so none of the other kids can play. She had to leave to go to the bathroom at one point and actually brought her uh, her kid, I guess that she was there with, made him sit there so no one would take it while she went back, came back, chastised him for not doing a good enough job. And I mean like laid into this kid. He's like, you're not doing a good job. Be a good boy. This is none of my business. I'm not about to get involved in this whole thing, but I'm just like, oh my gosh, like on the side. So the poor kid left and uh, that lady sat there for the rest of the day. I did get to see how many tickets she got. It was like 1500 tickets which is a lot, except that the highest value prize on the wall for 1,500 tickets, it was she, I'm sure she had more by the end of the day, but for 1,500 tickets, maybe a $3 toy. Why are you taking it that seriously? Taking the game away from kids and then chastising your own child that's there blew my mind. She probably got kicked out of casinos and just needs that to kind of fit, fill her addiction for the time being. So I'm gonna go in to Chuck E. Cheese. We're gonna do our own review. Things have changed. They aren't the way they used to be. There are no more animatronics that perform for you and your children. I don't know about you, but those performances were some of the highest tiered performances I've ever seen in my life. Take notes, Broadway. Chuck and his inbred friends could teach you a thing or two. There are no ball pits or tubes for my children to get stuck in or possibly die from vipers and needles. That's not only an urban myth, but also a win-win in my book. Sometimes the games don't always work but I see the maintenance people constantly working on it and usually have the games working shortly after. I do think the food is overpriced, but I know that's a big source of revenue for them to pay their young workforce. Gotta earn those Abraham Lincoln somehow, am I right? The kids always have fun, and the parents who've been kicked out of the local casinos have a place to satisfy their unhealthy addictive itch, even if they berate their children in the process. The person in the giant rat costume always gives 100%. What a champ. There have been a lot of upgrades and it's nicer than we were expecting. It's Chuck E. Cheese, stop complaining and have fun. And also probably get COVID. Gonna give that five stars and let's post. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did leave the video a like, it does help the channel out a lot. Comment down below, let me know what your thoughts on Chuck E. Cheese and what you think of some of the renovations and what your general thoughts on Chuck E. Cheese even are. Subscribe if you wanna see more fun content. Consider joining my Patreon to get early access to select videos. As always, I appreciate you watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.